Here's Larry Kudlow interviewing Mike Pence on his uh, Fox Hi. show. I'll start. I'll try that again. Here's Larry Kudlow interviewing Mike Pence on his uh, Fox business show. Fox News has a lot of crazies on its nighttime programming, but the real true crazies, they kind of push off to Fox business. And Kudlow is likely, allegedly, drunk more than half the time, so you gotta put him on the Fox business uh, uh, show here. And Mike Pence, though, made an appearance, so big guess for him, responding to... Uh, or, or at least making his a media appearance um, in the midst of him being really in the news because Donald Trump continues to throw him under the bus. So here he is where uh, talking to Larry Kudlow about President Biden, not really anything having to do with January 6th. And he makes an interesting claim about Biden. Have you ever seen a president who refuses to accept blame? And I want to add to that commits so many falsehoods i'm being very polite here calling it falsehoods falsehoods uh, you know on any given day he's out there saying stuff that just ain't true you ever see anything like that never in my lifetime i said today that uh, um, there has never been a time in my life where a president was more disconnected from the american people and most importantly, I mean, it's just fascinating because in the midst of these January 6 hearings, in the midst of, you know, the liberals who are clearly led astray saying Mike Pence is an American hero for certifying the election results. It's a good reminder that Mike Pence did not want to do that. Mike Pence would have loved to remain in power, suckling at the teeth of Donald Trump. I mean, that's what he wanted. Um, and he had no choice because there was zero evidence to support Donald Trump's claim that the election was stolen. Zero evidence. None. Nada. And Mike Pence also couldn't do anything except certify the vote. There was nothing in his power. And yet he was made the public scapegoat because Donald Trump couldn't accept the fact that he lost. Um, and this was a ploy to stay in power. So, like, even to this day... The guy is going on Fox Business and the projecting, basically, about the, uh, the complete lack of truthfulness that Trump embodies and pretending that that is Biden, um, even though it's just standard political opposition. But it's just a good reminder for people. P P Pence is as despicable as they come, and he's going to, I don't think, really turn on Trump ever given his proclivities no, he, can't. Yeah, no. he can't it's people are unable to trump um, is a guy who started an interagency sort of fight because he wanted to lie about how many people were at his inauguration yeah so th th that's the kind of guy we're dealing with um yeah biden biden lies all the time apparently it's just fascinating how Fox is completely I mean, sure. ignoring this as well. Like, yeah, when, every president does. Yeah, like there's, there's a degree of lying that this uh, job has, and uh, Democrats, like when they say, yo, we need to, like, we're deferring to Congress, but 10000 is the most we want to look for for student loan debt. That's that's a lie of sorts. And you have, like, fibbing, of course, is the thing to watch for those folks. But Trump absolutely was pathological. Yes. <laughs> like, in a way that, like, it wasn't even strategic sometimes. It just seemed, like, petty and about his sort of emotional state.